In this podcast, we're going to go over the IUPAC naming rules for carboxylic acids. So let's start at the same place we always start with a new family. Uh, carboxylic acids are a group of organic compounds that contain a carboxyl group. So it's oftentimes abbreviated COOH, um, but the structure is a carbon chain of any length, which is R, and you have a carbonyl and an OH right next door. Um, something to note also is that this has to be on the end of a chain. So as we're naming, this is always going to get carbon position number one. As with every other family, we are going to start by finding the longest continuous carbon chain that contains the carboxyl group. We're then going to replace the E of the parent's alkane name with oic acid. So if you had methane, it's a one carbon carboxylic acid, drop the E, it becomes methanoic acid. The carbon in your carboxyl group gets the carbon number one position because as we said before, it's on the end of a chain. All the previous rules apply in terms of numbering branches and naming them alphabetically. Um, something to note is we have a new aromatic um, to discuss. So if we have a carboxylic acid that's attached to an aromatic ring, we're going to call that benzoic acid, and that's going to function as both, um, or that's going to function as our IUPAC name as well as our common name. All right, let's jump into some practice. Um, all right, so in our first example, we have one, two carbons. So the parent alkane name is ethane. We drop the E and we replace that with ethanoic acid. Um, if you're feeling confident, you should totally pause me right now, try the other examples, and then check in with me to make sure that you did them correctly. All right, in our next example, we have one, two, three carbons in our longest chain that have the carboxyl group um, and no branches. So we're going to start with the parent alkane name, which would be propane. And I'm going to drop the E and replace it with oic acid. So a three carbon carboxylic acid is propanoic acid. In our next example, I wanted to show you an example of when it doesn't look gorgeous and we don't have the carboxyl group right at the end of a tr uh, chain, um, but we can follow the same exact rules. So we're going to start with the carboxyl group and we're going to find the longest chain, which is four carbons long. So the parent name is going to be butane, but we are going to replace that E with oic acid and then um, I drew a line through my longest chain leaving a branch on carbon one two so this would be two methyl butanoic acid and that would be one word it wouldn't be the space if I had planned just a hint better all right in our last example we have one two three four in our longest chain um, so again, this is going to be butanoic acid for the parent chain. Oh my good grief, I've spelled this wrong. Hang on. It's butanoic acid. And we have a bromine coming off of position one, two, three. So this would be three bromobutanoic acid.